agenda this evening is the mayor's report. And most of my report has to do with COVID-19 in the city. In, in March of this year, cities and counties reacted quickly to reduce the spread of COVID-19 by adopting physical distancing measures and focusing on readiness to treat those affected by the disease. Now we're in the position to engage our community in a conversation about reopening our community in a phased approach as we learn more about this virus. Earlier this month, I appointed a recovery task force, selecting community members to represent the many important perspectives in Issaquah. This diverse team is comprised of representatives from the city's boards and commissions, as well as some community members at large. They will advise the city on various issues relating to responding to the COVID-19 pandemic and future reopening of city services and programs. The task force will also advise the city on other community initiatives that are important to Issaquah residents and businesses. And the task force will meet regularly through August 2020. However, meetings may be extended beyond this time, depending on the progress of the pandemic response. So far, we've had two meetings. May 7th included introductions, uh, briefing of our response to date, and City Hall's new budget realities. May 14th included presentations on economic development from community partners, as well as a brainstorm on the group's work plan moving forward, which will have a focus on community health, economic recovery, community engagement, and more. Our next virtual meeting will be held at 4 p.m. on May 28th. And community members can watch live, submit comments to the group ahead of time, or just join us for public comment. Uh, Council Member Walsh had mentioned uh, about some potential funding, COVID funding for businesses. And I thought what I would do is um, talk about what we do know and what we don't know so far in terms of funding that might be available. Our city is experiencing the financial strain from the pandemic response and the resulting impacts to our economy. And we have been working to reduce expenditures to align with a revised revenue forecast, as well as looking for available funding to offset COVID-19 related expenses. The state of Washington has proposed funding to cities, including Issaquah, through the Coronas, Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act. Issaquah may receive $1.12 million. And at this time, the money can only be spent to cover costs related to COVID-19 crisis and cannot be used to make up for revenue losses. Current guidance appears that the reimbursement guidelines will be very broad, but we're waiting for further details. Additional funding for economic recovery from the federal government is possible, but it remains unknown at this time. There will also be available funding from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, for costs directly incurred from COVID-19, but specifics are unknown at this time. And I'd like to give a special thanks to King County Council Member Kathy Lambert for directing $5,000 in unrestricted funds to the City of Issaquah. And the City Administration will continue to keep you informed as we know, learn more about the various funding or reimbursements that become available. But right now, there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainty. Also, tonight, this evening, Finance Director Beth Goldberg will be presenting the City's plan for the second round of expenditure reductions. Round two identifies an additional $1.6 million in general fund underspends, bringing the total underspend from rounds one and two to $6.4 million. Round two also includes plans to address COVID-related financial impacts on the following other funds, on, on the other city funds. Director Goldberg will be providing details in her presentation this evening. We are right now in a monitoring mode, waiting for additional revenue projections from the state and confirming financial assistance from the federal government, FEMA, state, and King County. And at this time, we are not expecting any additional expenditure reductions. And that concludes the mayor's report.